This video is designed to help you start a gift shop business. At the end of the video, you'll find a valuable gift. It's a gift shop business plan that you can download and will lay down for you, step by step, everything you need to know to start a successful gift shop business of your own. If you are new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. Normally, gift shops sell a variety of gifts and novelty merchandise, as well as souvenirs. The industry is proliferating because more people are choosing to look for gifts that are unique or hard to find in traditional merchandise and discount retail stores. Gift shops stock an array of items. There are several niche ideas available for this industry, for individuals looking to stand out. Here are some of the niche ideas you can choose from, artisan gift shop selling arts and crafts, card and gift shop, ethnic gift shop, indoor gardening and herbs, holiday store, gift boutique. Personalized gift shop selling items that can be personalized, for example for weddings. Art and craft gift. Souvenir gift shop. Based on interests, for example, gifts for pet owners, science buffs, nature lovers, etc. Specialty gift shop selling gifts for individuals who refer to a particular group, based on demographics, for example, gifts for a particular age group, religion, gender, etc. Online selling. There are lots of e-commerce sites. If you want to sell your gift products online, you can create your own website to sell your products. To this end, you will need to invest a lot of money in SEO, web development, and other online marketing strategies. Selling on e-commerce is always preferable and recommended for gift shops. You can even sell through online stores like Shopify. Here are some of the best sites, eBay, Amazon, Etsy. Choosing the place. Choose the location where you want to start your gift shop business carefully because this will have a great impact on your business success, if going for a traditional brick and mortar outfit. Most gift shops are located in areas with a high flow of tourists, or in metropolitan cities where you can get maximum footfall. When choosing the location for a shop, consider the following. The name board of the shop should be bright in color, with good lighting. Wall of the shop should be made of glass, so that customers can view it from distance. Prefer shop which is on the ground floor, if it is not possible. Then look for the shops that are close to the stairs, lift or elevator. If you are choosing a shop which is inside a mall, your shop should be visible from the main entrance. Marketing. Marketing is a crucial aspect of a business, as it is the major way with the help of which business produces revenue, that will sustain as well as grow. Business awareness is created amongst the potential marketplace, as well as competitors. Here are some marketing strategies and ideas, for this gift shop business, approach college students to get quick sales. Contact companies for corporate gifting. Advertising. Use online ads to promote your gift items, and give discounts to people who are referring new clients to you. Advertise your business through email marketing. Post your products on top-rated e-commerce sites to make them popular, and use an SMS campaign. After doing these, you need to plan a business roadmap, which acts as a core of the business. Include some or all of the following. Inventory. Inventory management, POS system must always be controlled and monitored. As your business develops, do research on the software program for management of inventory. Payment methods. What payment methods will be used? Cash, debit, credit cards, and even local checks, could be accepted. If you prefer to allow personal checks and card purchases, just get the needed equipment. Hiring employees. If you have a lot of workloads, it is needful to hire employees to carry out the everyday operations. You can hire them by posting advertisements, referrals, or through recruitment agencies. Shop security. The security of your shop is also important. Explore theft avoidance technology, such as an alarm system or closed circuit security cameras, to ensure that your gift shop is secure. Combo packages. Create suitable combo packages to increase your sales. Customization. Customers will like your services, if you offer them exactly what they want. You can increase your business opportunities by arranging gifts for particular occasions in advance. For example, prepare and arrange gifts suitable for occasions in advance. In summary, if you follow all of the above tips you will be able to open your gift shop very easily. In addition, you will run a very successful and tight operation. Both of these are important when running a gift shop. The next part of the video is not specific to a gift shop business. Nevertheless, this knowledge is essential for success in the gift shop business, as well as in any other business. Ignore it at your own peril. Operating a successful gift shop business will depend on the following four conventions. 1. A practical plan, with a solid foundation. 2. Dedication, 
and willingness to sacrifice, to reach your goal. 3. Technical skills. 4. Basic knowledge of management, finance, record keeping and market analysis. As a new owner, you will need to master these skills, and techniques, if your business is to be successful. Finding a niche. Small businesses range in size from a manufacturer, with many employees, and millions of dollars in equipment, to the lone window washer, with a bucket and a sponge. Obviously, the knowledge and skills, required for these two extremes, are far apart, but for success they have one thing in common. Each has found a business niche, and is filling it. The most critical problems you will face, in your early planning, will be to find your niche, and determine the feasibility of your idea. Get into the right business at the right time, is very good advice, but following that advice, may be difficult. Many entrepreneurs plunge into a business venture, so blinded by the dream, that they fail to thoroughly evaluate its potential. Is your business idea feasible? Before you invest time, effort, and money, the following exercise will help you separate sound ideas, from those bearing a high potential for failure. Identify and briefly describe, the business you plan to start. Identify the product or service, you plan to sell. Answering yes, to any of the following three questions, means you are on the right track. A negative answer, to all of them, means the road ahead could be rough. 1. Does your product or service, satisfy an unfilled need? 2. Will your product or service, serve an existing market, in which demand exceeds supply? 3. Will your product or service be competitive, based on its quality, selection, price, or location? Market Analysis for a small business to be successful, the owner must know the market. To learn the market, you must analyze it, a process that takes time and effort. You don't have to be a trained statistician, to analyze the marketplace, nor does the analysis have to be costly. Analyzing the market is a way to gather facts, about potential customers, and to determine the demand for your product or service. The more information you gather, the greater your chances of capturing a segment of the market. Know the market before investing your time and money in any business venture. The following questions, will help you collect the information necessary to analyze your market, and determine if your product or service will sell. This brief exercise will give you a good idea, of the kind of market planning you need to do. An answer of no, to any of the questions, indicates a weakness in your plan, so do your research, until you can answer each question with a yes. 1. Do you know who your customers will be? 2. Do you understand their needs and desires? Three. Do you know where they live? 4. Will you be offering the kind of products or services, that they will buy? 5. Will your prices be competitive, in quality and value? 6. Will your promotional program be effective? 7. Do you understand how your business compares with your competitors? 8. Will your business be conveniently located, for the people you plan to serve? 9. Will there be adequate parking facilities, for the people you plan to serve? planning your startup. The following questions are grouped according to function. They are designed to help you prepare for opening day. Merchandise. Have you decided what items you will sell or produce, or what services you will provide? Have you made a merchandise plan, based upon estimated sales, to determine the amount of inventory you will need to control purchases? Have you found reliable suppliers, who will assist you in the startup? Have you compared the prices, quality, and credit terms, of suppliers? Business records. Are you prepared to maintain complete records, of sales, income and expenses, accounts payable, and receivables? Have you determined how to handle payroll records, tax reports, and payments? Do you know what financial reports, should be prepared, and how to prepare them? Finances. A large number of small businesses, fail each year. There are a number of reasons for these failures, but one of the main reasons is insufficient funds. Too many entrepreneurs. Try to start and operate a business, without sufficient capital, money. To avoid this dilemma, you can review your situation by analyzing the following three questions. 1. How much money do you have? 2. How much money will you need to start your business? 3. How much money will you need to stay in business? In order to answer the second question, how much money will you need to start your business? You need to prepare an estimate of all your startup costs. Here is a list of items, you may need to take into account. Note that this list is for a retail business. Items will vary for service, construction, manufacturing or online firms. Decorating and remodeling, fixtures and equipment, installing fixtures and equipment, services and supplies, B. 
beginning inventory cost, legal, professional fees, licenses and permits, telephone utility deposits, insurance, signs, advertising for opening, unanticipated expenses. Now, the answer to the third question, how much money will you need to stay in business? Must be divided into two parts, immediate costs, and future costs. From the moment the door to your new business opens, a certain amount of income may come in. However, this income should not be projected in your operating expenses. You will need enough money available, to cover costs for at least the first three months of operation. The following list will help you project your operating expenses, on a monthly basis. Typical expenses for one month may include, your living costs, employee wages, rent, advertising, supplies, utilities, insurance, taxes, maintenance, delivery, transportation, miscellaneous. Now sum up the total estimated monthly expenses, and multiply it by 3, this is the amount of cash you will need, to cover operating expenses for 3 months. Deposit this amount in a savings account, before opening your business, use it only for those purposes listed in the above list, because this money will ensure that you will be able to continue in business during the crucial early stages. By adding the total startup costs, to the total expenses for 3 months. You can learn what the estimated costs will be to start and operate your business for three months. By subtracting the totals of the lists from the cash available, you can determine the amount of additional financing you may need, if any. Now you will need to estimate your operating expenses for the first year after startup. The first step in determining your annual expenses, is to estimate your sales volume, month by month. Next, determine the cost of sales. You may want to use a spreadsheet to do this. After startup. The primary source of revenue in your business, will be from sales, but your sales will vary from month to month, because of seasonal patterns, and other factors. It is important to determine if your monthly sales will produce enough income to pay each month's bills. An estimated cash flow projection, will show if the monthly cash balance, is going to be subject to such factors as the following, failure to recognize seasonal trends, excessive cash taken from the business, for living expenses, too rapid expansion and slow collection of accounts, if credit is extended to customers. Conclusion If you have carefully answered all the questions in this video, you have seriously thought about your goal. However, there may be some things you may feel you need to know more about. Owning and running a gift shop business, is a continuous learning process. Research your idea, and do as much as you can, yourself. But don't hesitate to seek help from people who can tell you what you need to know. As we conclude this video, it's time you get your free gift shop business plan gift. Go to the description below this video, to get it now. It is completely free, no strings attached. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please, like, and hit the subscribe button, for more videos like this.